Moore out to Clark. Ball's dropped, but recovered. And Barton trying to find the corner. She's on her own. Barton spills through a couple of tackles and breaks the try line. A great looking run there from Kelsey Barton. Has Comox on the board. They now lead 5-0. This game, they're looking to add their second. Moore into Evans, now into the hands of Birnes. Dana Birnes has Comox's second try on the afternoon. Presentation back to the scrum half, successful. Attacking on the wing is Collicut. Now to McGuff. McGuff's got some space on the outside. One more player to beat at the line. The offload into the hands of Charlene James, and she is down for the try. Nanaimo working that ball into the winger with great precision there. Watching Women's Division I streaming live coverage here on bcrugby.com. We'll have Port Alberni versus West Shore in Men's Division I next. But first, our highlight is going to be Doris Tendler, who beats the fullback, and Tendler's gonna run the length of the field. For Comox's third try of the game, Tendler with a brilliant 80 meter run. Just finding that break in the defense. Comox looked like they had a uh, counterattack situation potentially on, but Nanaimo have regained possession, and great run here from Charlotte Douglas as she races into the corner and scores for Nanaimo. Now to win. Wynn's got space and she's got some help. Cutting back inside is Barton and Barton might be gone. One more tackler to beat Barton Fens. And Kelsey Barton will score her second try of the game. And gets it down right underneath the posts as well to ease the conversion attempt to follow. Lots of defenders out on that far side. The defensive assignment holds true for Comox. But using strength and trying to get down was Zeta Giron and the loose head prop Giron just powering her way over the line. They have advantage as well. And that ends the game. Comox Valley kickers the winners of this women's first division matchup. Final score, 24 for Comox, 15 for Nanaimo.